Okay, so what I like about this is the volume is excellent on both cameras, the RX100, Mark V, if I'm doing video, same thing with the ZV-1 Mark II. You got to have a special battery to plug this. So if you get like a 100 watt or 65 watt power bank, it's not going to work. You need something that only will put out like maybe 1.4 or 1.5 amps and stuff so you get your small rechargeable battery just like this it'll last you all week okay so it has a USB A or 3 or 2 actually and then the USB micro to charge it and I got four bars so it's completely charged you just put it in the pocket you get uh, enough storage for your uh, camera and you're ready to go. So you see it's real dark. My battery's charging. So I had the dummy battery. This is just to show you what you can do with a camera like this. I got dummy batteries for all of my cameras. I'm a believer that you only use camera batteries if it's for a quick trip, you know, take a shot here and there. Uh, I rather use a dummy battery on a power bank because then it doesn't slow down your shooting you know you take time to take a battery out put a battery in and also the fact that if you have enough storage you don't have to worry about that either so right now uh, this camera the Nikon one V3 only does 1080 to 60p it doesn't do 4k the Nikon one J5 does 4k but it's at 15 frames per second and it's lousy it's like taking 15 stills you know per second so you know it's not worth it this is great on stills also so you can set it for like 20 shots 30 shots 60 shots per second you know before the buffer goes up but uh, still it's a great camera so this is dark okay Let's go into another room. One, this one in sensor, it's real dark uh, because I have a 2.8 lens on here. Now I could put the 1.8 50 millimeter or I can put the uh, 85 millimeter 1.2, but this is basically for vlogging. Okay? So this is for vlogging. You look in the lens, I can't see the screen because it won't flip up all the way because I have an EVF also attached to it, but still it won't flip up all the way. Very light, very portable, and it'll only do about 10 minutes, 1080, 60, but I'm just going to walk around and show you the difference between 1080, 60 and 1080, 30. 1080, 30 has the VR. 1080, 60 doesn't have the VR but it's buttery smooth and that's what the test is on this camera so I'm just moving around there's the cat you probably can't see him as I do this he's hanging he's chilling out and still it's dark you really can't see him and that's the only thing I've noticed with this camera and this lens it's very dark so I see I, I increase the light. Now it looks better, right? But I gotta keep putting the lights on. Like my cat. I want to go outside, I think. Either that or he wants food. Now, he wants food. I already fed them. So you see, it's dark right here in the uh, family room. Watch what happens when I turn on the light. Okay, now, what's wrong with the light? It looks pretty good right there, right? I should put it on Texan, okay? So my dog's getting out. Just showing you some things. This is just a test. I got like another five minutes to go. But it's like 10 minutes at 1080, 60. 
I'm just walking around, seeing how steady it is. Okay? Same thing here. Uh, this camera is not overheated on me. All right? The other camera, J5, I finished recording, and then I said, well, we're going to turn it off because it's kind of overheating. This is built a little bit better, and uh, it, it can take more heat. So anyway, this should, you know, give you a pretty good idea if it's stable or not. So I'm just walking around. And there you should see me. So anyway, uh, now for part two with uh, 108030 with the VR on. 108030, VR is on. Okay, now when I did it earlier today, I did not have a tripod. Uh, now I have a ZDO tripod with the ProMaster ball head. And I always forget the. Yeah, it's a 2193. Uh, excellent. It's metal, rubber feet, low profile uh, tabletop uh, tripod. I like it. And you can see the EVF on here and the grip. And I'm charging the uh, camera battery. The reason also it takes so long. Uh, for the camera battery to charge, that's why I'd rather have a dummy battery. And I just use the camera batteries for emergencies, okay? Uh, also the fact that uh, the more you charge the camera batteries, let's say after 100 times, charge it all the way up, charge it down and stuff, it doesn't last long, okay? So with the dummy battery, you don't have to worry about it. You just continue on. And the only thing you have to worry about is if it overheats or if you run out of SD disk space. But you just make sure you have enough. So, and then it depends if you do it in JPEG or RAW. But, uh, so let, let's just test this out. This is just for walking around. See how the stabilization is. This should be a lot smoother than what I had with uh, just holding the camera. You always want to use a tripod and you get more stabilization. Yeah, uh, he's a little mad. He wants me to feed him and he starts picking on Wanda. But anyway, I'm just walking around so look at the background. I love the 10 millimeter. It's a 27 millimeter equivalent, okay? And uh, it's all on a dummy battery. And plus I get 20 minutes of recording at 1080-30 on a small one inch sensor camera. With the ZV-1 Mark II, I get uh, unlimited. And on the uh, Sony RX100 Mark V, I only get like four minutes in 4K. Um, I don't think it can do 1080-60. It might. I've never tried it because, you know, it over here at 4K, so... And I usually use that camera for... Um, stills photos so anyway uh, this should be it thank you for watching you know anybody that can fix a grandfather's clock i wish i could find someone to work on it but anyway thank you for watching and let me go over here so let's see how i look like this should look a little bit better. Stay safe, keep smiling, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, folks. Have a wonderful day. And I gotta get the re uh,